October 1993. To the white right wing, the end of the world as they knew it was at hand. The white government was negotiating a non-racial democracy with the African National Congress and the Communist Party. The swat of the far nightmares of generations were becoming reality. It was the perfect climate for a right-wing boom. Paranoid whites ordered food and fuel and prepared for war. A month before the 1994 election, the right wing invaded Botswana, the first proper armed insurrection by the right wing paramilitaries. It was a humiliating defeat. And the man they pinned their hopes on, former SADF chief Constant Villun, suddenly signed a deal with Nelson Mandela and took part in the election. Contrary to all their expectations, the elections were peaceful and successful. And South Africa was engulfed in a spirit of goodwill as Nelson Mandela became the first democratic president. For the first two years, South Africa was living a dream called reconciliation. The humiliation of the right wing was exacerbated with dozens of right wingers appearing before the truth committee, asking for forgiveness and blaming the right wing leaders for their plight. I started to assault him with Warner a fist. Fall. Where after he fell, in, in Smith, um, and Mr. Smith started to kick him and jump on him. No, there was no racial it, hatred it, involved it, because I did not know the person. It was on instruction of the AWB. But two, three years later, the euphoria of the new South Africa was wearing thin. Conservative whites felt increasingly marginalized as they saw all the symbols of power moving into black hands. The perception that Afrikaans was losing ground and that affirmative action was threatening white jobs fueled this unhappiness. But it was the steady increase in brutal attacks on mostly white farmers and the use of this phenomenon by politicians that have recently stoked the fires of dissent. And in the last few months, there have been many rumors of a new right-wing revival. The toestand is revolutionary, totaal anders as voor die verkiesing. It is an unhappy toestand, it can't be so other. There is natuurlijk baie methodes om dit te gebruik, weerstand te gebied op alle gebiede, in ons werksgebiede. Uh, recht op die volle spectrum is daar baie manier om weerstand te gebied. What we fought for during the border war, what we stood for, is, is those ideals are still very much alive. We, we can't just stop them, you know, just because it's convenient now to forget about them. Die verslechtering van toestanden en die laat gaan vinniger as wat ons self verwacht het. Our first step, I can obviously, as we go along, we'll innovate and we'll make decisions, but our first step is to inform the world and rally support exactly what the ANC did, overseas against this government, and we are even asking for sanctions. Die plofbare situasie word geskip door die onvermoe van die bestaande regering, door sy oneerlikheid, in sy onverdraagsame communistische uh, 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 methodiek. The same old faces. The same old caricatures. And the same old rhetoric. Tell the world that we are preparing ourselves to fight for that what is ours. I do think that the conservative element of, of, of the white South African population is also trying to distance themselves from militant um, far-right wing groups. Uh, the history of far-right wing groups in South, South Africa has not been very kind. Um, the actions of their leaders have not been very kind to, to fight far right wing politics. So it's an emotional thing. Uh, a lot of people uh, listen uh, to the emotions evoked by these people. But when it comes to practical and leadership issues on the ground, I don't think there's a lot of credibility currently. The days of mass rallies and public shows of force are clearly over. 
Does that mean right-wing support has diminished? The oordeel on the navra, on the aanzoeken and the algehele belangstelling, is the steen by groter as what it was in the verlede. Daar wordt natuurlijk niet zoveel so prominentie in die ledetal zelf gegeven. Zo is niet verleden met groot mars en nie. Ons geeft geen getallen daar nie. Ons openbaar ook niet mensen wie lid is van ons of niet, want baie keer word dat je dan gediscrimineerd en wordt er gevictimiseerd. Ik zou zeggen, ons is zo so groot genoeg dat uh, ons sal, hulle sal moet uh, ons in acht neem dat ons heel wat machtig is. En ek reken dat ons dit sal kan doorvoer om ons uh, republieke vry te kry van die communista. We are not totally alone. We have just started forming friends of the Boer folk all over the world. In terms of, of numbers, I think it's grossly overrated. The militant right wing prior to 1994 had about uh, potentially 5,000 armed members that was willing to act against the political change in South Africa at that stage, of which very little did. Since 1994, there was a significant decline in the numbers of armed militant support for um, the right wing. Um, and I don't think that they can, uh, at this stage, claim to have that amount of, uh, of support. There seems little chance of a right wing extremist resurgence under the tired and discredited old leadership. But there is a new face on the horizon, a new contender for the title Great White Hope. His name was first mentioned in connection with the armed thefts at 44 Parachute Battalion in May this year, when the suspects named him as the leader of a new movement called Default. Johan Nimolo is a former regional commander of the Army's Civil Cooperation Bureau in Namibia. In the Ventuk High Court inquest, Judge Harold Levy named Nimolo an accomplice to the murder of Swapo leader Anton Lubovsky. He has been a member of uh, the South African Special Forces in the past. Um, he also he left the Special Forces uh, long before 1994, became a businessman, had a factory that manufactured military um, fabrics, uh, equipment in terms of webbing and so on. Made a lot of money with that. Uh, and he's, uh, uh, according to our information, uh, quite a well-off gentleman. Uh, he also has connections uh, uh, in Angola, uh, where he has got some diamond concessions. And he is a very, uh, according to our information, a good or a supporter of, uh, of Mr. Savimbi's uh, movement. Unlike most other right-wingers, Nimolo is a secretive man. He refused to talk on camera, but we did meet him at an elaborately staged rendezvous in this Johannesburg coffee shop. Nimolo's home is in the northern Cape Town of Pofadet, but he is mostly on the move between Gauteng, Angola and the Plattland. He addressed AWB leaders at Eugene Tablant's Fentersdorf home a few weeks ago, but slipped away before our cameras arrived. It is known that he is moving around on uh, the fringe of, of, of right-wing politics, militant right-wing politics. Um, that he is trying to influence uh, the farming community or the rural community, the white rural community in South Africa, uh, to join uh, up with his movement. Is he bewust van een organisatie met die naam die volk? Ja, ja, ik is bewust daarvan en ik is baie blij om te hoor dat hulle ook omtrent vast op die boerenfondement staan. Is daar al enige pogings geweest om? Net dat ik die leier van die beweging weet bij een lang ken, maar daar is nog niet formele samenspelers gevoerd. Dat is meneer Nimolle. Ja, meneer Johan Nimolle. Is daar enige moeilijkheid in zo'n werk? Ja, ik denk zo. Het is soms maar automatisch kom. Dat is streven naar diezelfde doel, zo dus dus van zelfsprekend dat ons bij elkaar zal echt Ik ken hem. Ik heb dan met hem gepraat, maar dat is geen verhouding niet. Uh, as hy ernstig is oor sy volkszaak saak, en eerlijk is oor sy volkszaak, wil ek kom met als van die beste toe is. I spoke to Mr. Niemoller and uh, I don't know if the folk exists. Like most other extremists, Niemoller mixes religion, fundamentalism, nostalgia for the past and naked fear to whip up support. He's a founder of an obscure sect 
which proclaims the Boer folk as a chosen people with a holy identity. The Church of Remembrance aims to unite the former Boer republics into one white state called the Republic of the Orange Free State. Nimola clearly has delusions of being a new messiah. He states in the church brochure, the Boer folk would not gain its freedom through a popular democracy, but through a man of God, a man of steel untainted by negotiations. In a letter to potential supporters, he writes, is there someone fit to be our leader? Our task is not to search for that person. Either God will give him to us or he will not come. Our task is to shape the sword that he will need when he comes. Our task is to provide the leader with a united Afrikaner nation which is ready for him when he comes. Nimolo was not prepared to talk on the record, but he sent his right-hand man. The perception is that Johan Nimolo is the liar. But our work is an afgewenkelde liarskap. Met andere woorden, as, as Johan Nimolo more iets oorkom of I verander van hart of wat ook al gebeur, is daar iemand onder hom wat, wat sal aangaan daarmee en as, as die mense so, so wegval, sal daar ander mense wees wat net sal aangaan. The Nimola group chose an emotional issue to rally around, farm murders. They are using this video with old police footage of murders on white people to anger and scare conservative people into action. Ons bevind ons nog steeds Some of the scenes are of attacks in 1986. the En, en dat die moorde in die stede begin het toeneem. En om, om, toe, toe daar zwart op zwart moorde is wat begin het toeneem. En zwart op zwart uh, uh, agressie is wat, wat toeneem. The murders reported is invariably white farmers and the criminals are invariably black, uh, black criminals. Uh, so people is playing very hard on the racial card when it comes to, to these farm murders. Um, and that of course uh, is the ideal situation for, for any uh, movement on the on the fringes of South African politics to start and work for a niche um, in in the people that are feeling the threat most. Is jullie bezig om specifiek die commandos te mobiliseer? Nee, nie specifiek die commandos te mobiliseer, maar ek sal vir jou sê wat ons wel doen. Ons sê vir mense, kom by mekaar, kom onder een bevel en beheer, so dat daar eenvormigheid en so dat daar kan een bymekaarkomst wees van die minderheidsgroep wat ons is in die land. En so dat wanneer ons nodig het om miskien een protestoptrede te, te wil loos, wat, wat jyltemal in ons rechte is om te doen, beter kan gedoen word, want die mense is onder bevel en beheer. Die AWB'se commando stelsel is ingestel ook vir met die oog op beskerming. Uh, ek wil nie een uh, stelling maak wat, wat, wat uh, enig iets anders sal, sal ontlont of ontlok nie. Maar die, die stelling wat ek wil maak is dat die, die, tyd, die tyd is wat my betref so kort dat ek dink net soos, soos die AWB is verskye rechtse groeperings op die stadium bezig om om gereed te maak vir die totale aanslag van hierdie machte, hierdie polities geïnspireerde machte. The difference between Nimola's inner circle and the so-called AWB general is that many of Nimola's men are highly trained former SADF soldiers. If a right-wing fringe group uh, succeeds in getting the support of this highly skilled and trained people, they can be, uh, they do have the potential to disrupt infrastructure, for instance, um, in the country. Ons sal ons verset, soos die ANC het gedoen het, op al die verskye maniere wat die ANC het gedoen het, en dit is, die formule is daar. Wat jullie betrokken al by enige wapen die vir by militaire basis is? Nee, ja, ek het geweet, jy sal daarby kom. Nee, 
um, as enige soldaat, pesmachte soldaat, of, of enige soldaat wat al in die buitenland, as ek sê die buitenland, en praat ons maar van Angola en Mozambique, is daar le tonne en tonne en maar tonne wapens en landmijnen begrawe, en as ek 3000 antipersoneel myne uithaal, het ek genoeg springstof, dan kan ek hierdie land in soveel chaos in dompel, as, as wat mense, wat, wat mense sal het nie kan, kan indink nie, soveel springstof is daar. And that is possibly the only real danger of Nimola's new group, their potential to plant bombs and so destruction. For a genuine popular leader, he is simply too far on the lunatic fringe.